Now tell me Iran isn't completely incompetent. This video is brought to you by The Outstanding Store. The Outstanding Store, get the merch link in the description section. Let's get into this. How are you a competent government when you can't even prevent yourself from shooting down a commercial airline? I want you to watch the video of what happened so you know I'm not making this up. It is clear cut in the video evidence because Iran keep denying that this ever happened. It's clear cut information in the video that I'm going to show you that shows the impact of a projectile or a missile that hit the aircraft while it was in midair. Roll the film. For the first time tonight, this. What appears to be the moment that 737 is hit by a missile. This video shot in the neighborhood of the last track position of the Ukrainian jetliner. That missile can be seen streaking upwards right before impact. The sound following seconds later. As you can see on the film, it's very clear. There was an impact. There is sound that goes along with it. And then you see the debris coming in in the camera angle and you see all kind of debris flooding in. Now that could have happened during impact, but it's highly unlikely that the, the, it would disintegrate in that form and fashion upon in, initial impact. They shot the thing down in a steady line about it. And what our intelligence believe or the people that work on our side, people in, in some of these Western countries other than us in Canada, is that they forgot to turn off the signal of the GPS or even satellite guided missiles that are anti aircraft. And so they forget to turn it off. The thing leaves the airport with civilians in it. And these missiles that are set, they ended up tracking the, the airplane and shooting it down. So the biggest question is why are they lying? Why are they lying? Now, there's two scenarios and reasons why they're lying. First is because it's an embarrassment in front of the whole world of how incompetent they are to shoot down innocent people in their botched retaliation against the United States of America. So that's that's number one, the, the, the instantaneous guilt and shame on their whole government system as a result of that. No, number two, they're going to end up starting a conflict with other countries because this was a Ukrainian aircraft. And I'm pretty sure there was Ukrainians on the aircraft. Canadians were on the aircraft. So now you're in trouble with the United States, Canada, and Ukraine. You, Iran has been taking L's for the last couple weeks. L's. Big L's. And I don't understand for all of you out here watching, and I know it's really not none of y'all that subscribe to my channel because y'all perfect. I'm talking about somebody else that's jumping on that's a hater. For all of you out there who are somehow jumping on the Iranian bandwagon, who are somehow standing up for, for uh, Soleimani, and, and we apologize to your government because we're so scared that you guys are going to hurt us. They are not even competent enough not to shoot down their own aircraft. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. This is, this is exactly what I think about them. Now, let me show y'all or tell y'all about how many L's they have taken in the last couple of weeks. Let's go with L number one. They tried to attack our, our embassy and ended up getting their first in command of the military knocked off. That's L number one. L number two, at his funeral, 50 plus people got murdered or killed in, in, in the stampeding that went on at his funeral in which they forced people to go to. L number three, they came with some weak <clears throat> retaliation against the United States, knowing that our military personnel would not be affected or hurt because they knew if it happened, they would get that work. They didn't want that, so they came with that little, uh, uh, is it over yet? Is it over yet? We don't want war with you. I know y'all don't want war. I could have told you that, and I don't even have to be in the military. Now, that's L number three, if I'm counting right. L number four came when they're so incompetent militarily that they don't know how to disarm their anti-craft missiles so that it wouldn't shoot down the commercial airlines leaving Tehran on all fronts. But I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update on what happened with the, the plane situation because I know there was speculation at the beginning. Me personally, I knew it was, I knew that they had shot that thing down. It's, it's ironically, as you're shooting missiles over to a base of, of where the U.S. Armed Forces were at, somehow a plane goes down. It's very rare for aircraft to just fail like that. It just so happened the same night that y'all doing that 
And and they also had an earthquake or something that happened. They they all messed up. But anyway, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this, man. Am I tripping or do you believe Iran? Do you believe Iran is right and the rest of the world is fear mongering and, and they're, they're trying to start an unnecessary war or paint a bad picture of Iran? Or is Iran tripping? Um, let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Shout out to law enforcement. We love you. We appreciate you, especially on this channel, especially me being a former police officer. Visit the Austin Tatum store where you get all your cool merch. Y'all know what it is. I'll see you next time. God bless you. I'm out.